Mecca is the holiest site in the world for anyone who professes to practice the Islamic faith, and no place is holier in Mecca than the Kaaba. The black cubic structure located at the center of the Great Mosque in Mecca, Saudi Arabia is the most sacred site of worship for any Muslim around the planet. But as of recently, the increasing onslaught of locusts on the Hajj has alarmed much of the Islamic world. Many Christians believe that this is a sign of the end times and judgment laid by God on the Islamic faith. What is causing these locust swarms to come to the Kaaba? Is it a scientific or spiritual reason? Mecca is no doubt the holiest city to ever exist to the Muslim population, with it being the birthplace of the Prophet Muhammad and the city where the Prophet Ibrahim, Abraham, and his son Ishmael built the Kaaba. This cubic black structure served as a place of worship to Allah, a place that would become the center of the faith and its followers in the years to come. The Kaaba's importance cannot be overstated. It is the spiritual center of the Islamic faith, as well as the geographical center as all Muslims face the Kaaba and pray regardless of where in the world they are situated. The pilgrimage to the city of Mecca and the Kaaba is known as the Hajj, and it forms one of the five pillars of the Islamic faith. But what does any of this have to do with the locust attacks at the site of the holy place, you ask? Well, let's see. The rainy season in Saudi Arabia usually allows for the springing up of fresh vegetation and makes the land fertile, making it a playing ground for locusts. These locusts usually give the farmers of an area great trouble as they eat up all the crops. But now, People are saying that the locusts invading the mosques might not just be a byproduct of the humidity and vegetation, but instead a sign from above, a warning from God for the Muslims to repent of their sins and turn to Him. In the Bible, locusts have always played a role in God's plan, a force that leaves everything destroyed in its wake. In the book of Exodus, God makes Moses raise his staff to usher in the eighth plague to convince the Pharaoh to let his people go. The Pharaoh would become hard-hearted and not do so, which leads to God releasing the last of the two plagues upon Pharaoh that ravage him. The locusts are the physical visualizations of what sin does to us when left unchecked in our souls. It eats away at us like the locusts do the crops, till there is nothing left but a shell of what was once a person. These locusts that have fallen upon the cities of Mecca and Medina can be seen as the divine hand of God punishing those who have not yet turned to him, but imploring those who have not to do the same as there is no salvation except through Christ. Another time, the locusts are seen. In the Bible is in the book of Revelations where their descriptions match that of horrible eldritch creatures that have been sent on a mission to ravage anything that lives. All except the 144,000 who are sealed in Christ during the end times. So could this be a forewarning of what is to come? A last altar call before Christ returns as Lord and King over all the earth to judge its inhabitants? But on that great day of judgment, when the earth shakes and the wicked prays for the rocks to fall on them and cover them from the glory of the Lamb who sits upon the throne, who are the ones that will be judged? Truly, it is all of us who are both living and dead. Every generation of man that has seen both the wonders of God and those who have lived by faith alone. We will all be standing before him on that day to either hear him say those wonderful words of, well done, my good and faithful servant, or the gut-wrenching, depart from me, I never knew you. What a horrifying day for those who have to hear the latter. We who have lived and died in Christ will be openly acknowledged on that great day of judgment in front of those who mocked us and spat on our faces for our faith. We can no longer ignore the signs of the times, for no man, angel, or even the Son knows the time of His coming. But God the Father knows when the hour has come for the Son of Man to return and take us away in glorious rapture. So let us heed His warnings and return to Him today if we have strayed from the path that is narrow and righteous for His glory and our salvation. If you believe this video has been your wake-up call to return to God or to submit your life to Him, Make sure to like this video and also subscribe to the channel for more content about the signs of the times and the love of Christ.